Hi, I'm Mike Swanbaugh, and I've got another problem here to show you. Uh, this one's a little bit different because in this problem, you're not given a single mass in this entire mass balance problem. And that kind of can make you think and, and uh, not really know what to do if, uh, if you haven't seen one like this before. So I'm going to show you how to handle this. So here it is. The first step of manufacturing asphalt shingles is to impregnate a fiberglass felt with a mixture of asphalt, cement, and aggregate. I'm just going to go ahead and start making a little uh, diagram here. What we're saying here is that we basically have an input stream into the, our first step of the process. Okay, and from there it goes into the next step of the process. Okay, and what it says here is that at the end of the first step, the shingles are 23 percent fiberglass by weight okay so however much we've got coming in right here we are 23 percent fiberglass okay uh, and then the next step is to apply an additional layer of aggregate to one side of the shingles okay what's interesting about this stream of something is that it is a hundred percent aggregate so 100 percent aggregate all right and it's probably worthwhile us putting some uh, some variables on here let's say we have uh, a certain amount coming into the first step we have another amount that we don't know yet going into the second step so we can label that b uh, let's label this one here c Okay, and then lastly, we have a certain amount of this product that comes out the other end. We'll call that D, and what else do we know about that? Let's see. Uh, we have 15% fiberglass, 46% aggregate, 39% asphalt cement by weight at the end of that last step. So we basically know fully uh, all of the composition. Okay, so let me write those down. 0.15. Uh, fiberglass we have uh, 46 percent aggregate and then we have 39 percent asphalt okay there's a couple other things that we don't know on this problem. We know that it's 23% fiberglass when it comes into step two of the process, but we don't actually know the other composition. And so what we're going to do is assign some variables to that. I'm going to assign this a variable of X. Uh, that is essentially the percentage that we have that is that asphalt cement. I'll just call it cement make sure I'm consistent here and we call that cement over here as well it's basically the stuff that holds this all this uh, material together all right and then lastly we have aggregate that we should have coming into our uh, second step and what's interesting is that doesn't actually introduce a new variable because we have to have a hundred percent flowing in this has to sum up to a hundred percent so for that to work we need basically one minus X minus 0 0.23 and this is basically how much uh, aggregate we have coming in in that stream all right so what's difficult about this is that we don't have any mass flows we don't know any of these mass flows that must mean that it doesn't matter for what is being asked. What we ultimately are being asked is for the weight percent asphalt cement in the shingles. That's this X variable right here. Okay. To get that X variable, it must not matter exactly the amount that is moving through this process. And because it doesn't matter, we can just assign A value that's easier for us to work with into one of these variables and I suggest we do it to that final amount out think of it as you know for every pound of product that is produced 
then you know these numbers that we come up with will give us how many pounds for instance of, of uh, material we need to come in out of step one or how many pounds of uh, aggregate need to come in uh, in that stream all right so now that we've got all this set up I'm going to start by writing my equation for my fiberglass balance Okay, and for this fiberglass balance, uh, I've got, if you think about this, I have uh, 0 0.23 times B. Okay, we don't have any uh, material coming in on this other stream. Okay, and so this had better equal one pound times okay 15% fiberglass all right and so this is not actually that hard of a uh, equation to solve all I have to do is plug in one pound times 0.15 divided by 0.23 and that gives me the result that I need in that first step. It says that I need 0.6521. And what are the units on that? Well, since we had a pound at the beginning, we have a pound right here. This ends up being a pound right here as well. All right, well, is that what it's asking for? No, we're not quite there yet. The next thing we want to do is a cement balance. This is for that asphalt cement. And on that cement balance, you see that we will have B times X coming in. Okay, for cement. Do we have anything coming in on C? We sure don't, so all we have there then is going to the last one, which is one pound times 0.39. Okay. Well, what we already solved here for B, so we should be able to change this up and say that this is just 0.6521x is equal to 0 0.39 pounds and this tells us that x which remember that is that percentage or you know we can do it as a decimal but that is that fraction of cement that's in our mixture so what we'll do here is we'll take 0.39 and divide by it's actually that previous answer that we just had and that lets us solve for the percentage that we had of cement coming in on that process, 0.598, which is the same thing as saying 59.8%. Okay. And so then we need to look up here and see if we've got an answer that matches that, and turns out we do the answer would just be F. So I hope this has been valuable, seeing a little bit different style of mass balance problem. If it has, please give me a like. Uh, go ahead and comment if you have any comments about this, and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate it.